Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, we finished with the chapter multiplication and division. Correct. So, in today's class, we'll start with the new chapter that is called multiples and factors. So, in today's class, we'll be learning what are multiples, and in the next class, we'll move on to what are factors. Okay. So, first, before we learn what are multiples. Now you'll have learned multiplication and you'll know multiplication tables, correct? So based on that and based on division what you have learned and uh, the few divisibility rules, we'll solve a few questions on them. So it will be like a quick revision. Alright, so let's do that first and then we'll move on to learning what are multiples. Okay, so here they've told fill in the balloons as shown in the Example. Correct. So what is the example here? First, there's a green, green balloon which says 9 into 7 is equal to 63. Correct. So 9 sevens are 63. Then this 63 when you divide by 9, you'll get 7. And the same 63 when you divide by 7, you will get 9. So the same way we have to fill the rest. So 8 fours are. How much is 8 fours are? We know that 8 fours are is 30. Two. So, we'll write 32 over here. Okay. Then. Then. What do you do now? We'll write next division. So, 32 divided by 4. So, you all can use, uh, you can write the division sign. I cannot use it right now. So, I'm using the slash instead of the division symbol. So, how much is 32 divided by 4? 32 divided by 4 will be 8. Okay, same way here, 32 divided by 8 will be equal to 4. Okay, so 8 into 4 is 32, 32 divided by 4 is 8 and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now, 15 into 10, how much is 15 into 10? 15 into 10 is 150. Okay, so what will you write here? You will write the division, 150 divided by 10. So, that will be equal to 15. Okay, 150 divided by 10 is equal to 15. Same way, 150 divided by 15 will be equal to 10. Okay, 150 divided by 15 is equal to 10. Then, 25 into 30, how much is 25 into 30? It will be 750. Okay, 750. So, now we will do 750 divided by 25 which will be equal to 20, 25, sorry. And uh, that is not 35, it is 30, okay. So, 750 divided by 30 will be equal to 25, all right. And 750 divided by 25 will be equal to 30. So, this is how you fill in these, okay. Now, moving on to question 2. Use the rules of divisibility to test if 1425 is divisible by 2510. Okay, 23425 is divisible by 369 and 1348 is divisible by 24 and 8. So, this part we have learned, right? Divisibility uh, tests we have learned in the previous chapter. So, question 2 I want you all to try it for homework. Okay, try to do it on your own. I will do one problem. So, first one. 1425 is divisible by 2, 5 and 10. First, let's check if it is divisible by 2. We know that for divisible by 2, the 1's place should be an even number. So, in 1's place, we have 5. 5 is not an even number. So, that number is not divisible by 2. Okay, that is 1, 4, 2, 5 is not divisible by 2. Then, 5. We know that for a number to be divisible 5, by 5, its 1's place should be either 5 or 0. So, here the 1's place is 5. So, this number is divisible by 5. Same way, 10. Now, for 10, the 1's place should be 0. But here it is 5. So, the number is not divisible by 10. So, 1425 is divisible only by 5, not by 2 and 10. Okay, same way you have to check for others also. Then, divide by short division method. So, we know that 4 1s are 4, correct? 4 1s are is 4. Then, uh, you cannot divide 
by 1 so that will be 0 and then 4 3 is a 12 103 then 7 4 is a 28 so 31 minus 28 will be 3 so 32 so that is again 7 4 is a 28 4 will remain and 7 7 is a 49 so 447 then 9 2 is a 18 okay 9 2 is a 18 so 25 minus 18 will be how much will be 7 so 72 we know that 9 8 is 72 and then 0 so 280 then 8 1 is 8 4 will remain 8 5 is 40 again 4 will remain 8 6 is 48 so 156 okay so this was division by divide by short division method all right so this is what we have learnt in multiplication and division now let's see uh what are multiples? So, what are multiples? Uh, so, you know what are counting numbers, right? Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on are called as counting numbers. Now, counting numbers are countless. You don't know where it will end. Only when you define that write the numbers less than 100. So, you'll write numbers up to 99. So, they are defined, you know numbers less than 99 will be 1 to 99 but if you don't define how many numbers you need the numbers are endless and countless okay so these are counting numbers so whenever you multiply any number with the counting numbers you will get the multiples of that number so when we multiply any counting number okay when we multiply any number by counting numbers we get the multiples of that number Okay, the smallest of the common multiples is called the lowest common multiples. Now, when they give you two numbers and they tell you to write the multiples for both the numbers. Here, they ask you to write the, in those two sets of numbers, sometimes there are common multiples which are there in both the list of multiples. So among those common multiples, the smallest one will be the lowest common multiple or LCM. So, we'll see it with an example later. First, properties of multiples. So, what are the different properties of multiples? Every number is a multiple of itself. Okay. So, every number is always a multiple of itself. Then, every number is a multiple of 1. So, every number will be a multiple of itself. Every number is also a multiple of 1. If you see one table, 1, 2 is a 2, 1, 3 is a 3, 1, 4 is a 4. So basically when you multiply 1 with any counting number, you will get the counting number as the answer. So every number is a multiple of 1. And all multiples of a number are greater than or equal to the number itself. So multiples are never smaller than the given number. They are either equal or greater than the given number. Okay. The exception is 0 which is a multiple of every number. So 0 is the only number which is less than the multiples or multiple of any number. But it uh, 0 is multiple of every given number. Okay and as I told there are countless counting numbers. So there will be countless multiples of a number. Okay so there are a few examples of how to write multiples here they have told write the first six multiples of 8 and 12 and find out the lowest common multiple okay so 8 and 12 so first we'll write the first six multiples of 8 so that is 8 1s are 8 8 2s are 16 8 3s are 24 8 4s are 32 8 5s are 40 and 8 6s are 48 then multiples of 12 12 1s are 12 12 2s are 24 12 3 is a 36, 12 4 is a 48, 12 5 is a 60 and 12 6 is a 72. So these are the first 6 multiples of 8 and 12. So what are the common multiples here? Now if you see the common multiples are circled. So 24 and 48 are the common multiples. And here which is the smallest common multiple? It is 24. So LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. Okay. Then. 
एग्जाम्पल टू देव आज चेक वेदर वन टू सेवन एट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन टू सी इफ वन थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटी एट इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन वॉट यूल डू इज यूल चेक इफ इट इज अव इट इज डिविजिबल बाय नाइन सो यूल यूज द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल दैट इज वेन द सम ऑफ डिजिट्स इज डिविजिबल बाय नाइन देन द नंबर विल बी डिविजिबल बाय नाइन सो यू हैव वन प्लस टू प्लस सेवन प्लस एट इज एटीन एंड एटीन इज डिविजिबल बाय नाइन सो वन थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटी एट विल ऑल्सो बी डिविजिबल बाय नाइन ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन थ्री और एग्जाम्पल थ्री लिस्ट द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ सेवन बिटवीन फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी सो फ्रॉम द सेवन टाइम्स टेबल्स वी नो सेवन फाइव जो थर्टी फाइव सेवन सिक्स जो फोर्टी टू सेवन सेवन जो फोर्टी नाइन एंड सेवन एट जो फिफ्टी सिक्स सो वी नीड ओनली द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फोर्टी एंड बिटवीन फोर्टी एंड फिफ्टी So what are the multiples between forty and fifty here? Forty-two and forty-nine. So multiples of seven between forty and fifty are forty-two and forty-nine. Okay. So this is all about multiples. Okay. So now let's solve exercise four point one in your textbooks on page number one hundred and thirty-nine. Okay. So the first question over here is write the first five multiples of each of the following. Numbers. So we have five, nine, three, fourteen, and eleven. So let's see one by one. So first we will write the first five multiples of three. So first we will write the first five multiples of five. So we know that five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, and five fives are twenty-five. So first five multiples of five are five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. Then B one is nine, so we'll start with nine ones are nine. So nine ones are nine. Nine two is eighteen. Nine three is twenty-seven. Nine four is thirty-six, and nine five is forty-five. So what are the first five multiples of nine? It is nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, and forty-five. Okay. Then moving on to the next one, three. So what are the first five multiples of three? First five multiples of multiples of three will be three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, three fours are twelve, and three fives are fifteen. So the multiples are three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Okay. Then next fourteen. So fourteen is fourteen ones are fourteen, fourteen twos are twenty eight, fourteen threes are forty two, fourteen fours are fifty six, and fourteen fives are seventy. So the first five multiples are fourteen, twenty eight, forty two, fifty six, and seventy. Okay. So these are the first five multiples of these numbers. Now coming to eleven. Eleven is very easy, so you'll try to do it on your own. You just multiply eleven with one, two, three, four, and five, and then write the first five multiples of eleven. Okay. Now moving on to question two. So here they have told in each of the following pairs of numbers, check whether the larger number is a multiple of the smaller number. Okay, so we have to check if the larger number is a multiple of the smaller number. So what's the first one here? Seven forty-two and six. So we have to check if seven forty-two is a multiple of six. For that, first we have to check if seven forty-two is divisible by six. So how will we do that? We know that divisibility rule for six says that if a number is divisible by both two and three, then it will be divisible by six. So for seven forty-two, first let's see if it is divisible by two. Now seven forty-two has a uh, two in its ones place, which is an even number. So seven forty-two is an even number, therefore it is divisible by two. Okay, so seven forty two is divisible by two. Then let's see if it is divisible by three. So what we'll do first, we'll find if the sum of the digits. What is the sum of the digits? So seven plus four plus two is thirteen. Is thirteen divisible by three? No. So seven hundred and forty two will not be divisible by three. Okay, seven forty two is not divisible by three. Now here seven forty two is divisible by two, but not by three. That means seven forty two is not divisible by six. Since it is not divisible by six, it is not a multiple of six. Okay, seven hundred and forty two is not a multiple of six. This was first question.
Now coming to the second question, three thousand four hundred and eighty-four divided. Uh, sorry, three hundred and four. So first, what we'll do is we'll check if it is divisible by eight. We know that divisibility rule for four says that if the tens and ones placed together are divisible by eight, then the number will be divisible by eight. Correct. So here, three thousand four eighty-four. Tens and ones places eighty-four. So eighty four is divisible by four. That's why right. three thousand four eighty four will be divisible by four. Since the number is divisible by four, it is a multiple of four. Okay, three four eight four is a multiple of four. So that was question two, A and B. Question uh two C and D is for your homework. All right, try to do it for your homework. So list the multiples of twelve between fifty and seventy. So what you can do is you can write uh, the multiples of twelve from twelve fives are or twelve fours are forty eight till twelve sixes are seventy two. Okay, so twelve fours are is forty eight, twelve fives are is sixty, and twelve sixes are is seventy two. So the number which comes between fifty and seventy is only sixty. None of the multiples of twelve. Other than sixty are, uh, between fifty and seventy. Okay, so it is sixty. So answer three is sixty. Now coming to question four. So they have told list the first six multiples of each, uh, pair and find the least common multiple. Okay, so first, uh, two and four. So first we'll write the first six multiples of two and four both. What are the first six multiples of two? It is two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, and two fours are sorry, two fours are eight, two fives are ten, and two sixes are twelve. Okay, then multiples of four. So four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, four fours are sixteen, four fives are twenty, and four sixes are twenty-four. Okay, so these are the First six multiples of two and four. Then which are the common multiples over here? The common multiples here are four, eight, and twelve. Correct. These are the common multiples. And in this, which is the smallest common multiple? It is four. So your LCM or least common multiple is four here. Four two and four is four. Then three and five. So here first we'll write the first six multiples of three. So they are three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, three fours are twelve, three fives are fifteen, and three sixes are eighteen. Then multiples of five we have five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five, and five sixes are thirty. So here, what are the common multiples? There is only one common multiple, which is fifteen. So your LCM will be fifteen. Okay. So your LCM is fifteen. So these were question one, two, four. So here, question one B, e, question two C and D, and question four C and D, and fifth one are for your homework. Okay. So fifth one is very easy. Circle the multiples of Seven. So among this, you have to circle the multiples of seven. So, okay, we'll do it now. Only the others you can do for homework. So seven minus seven, we know that seven two zero is fourteen, right? So fourteen is a multiple of seven. And what about eighteen? Eighteen is not a multiple of seven. Twenty is also not a multiple of seven. Then seven three zero is twenty one. So twenty one is a multiple. Seven four zero is twenty eight. So twenty eight is also a multiple. Thirty is not a multiple, and seven six is a forty-two. So forty-two is a multiple of seven. So fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, and thirty-two are multiples of seven. So you can circle those. So for your homework, do this problem and these two. Okay, and these two. So do these for homework, and in the next class we will start with factors. Okay, we'll learn factors in the next class. All right. Thank you, students. I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.